what's up my viewers and subscribers welcome back to the channel leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel and i ask that you click the top bell icon so you can get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel so hope you guys having a wonderful morning so i have a few things here i'm gonna share with you guys and the first thing client and man charged for pulling gun on his mother during argument what can go so people the maypen police on tuesday charge a man for pulling a gun on his mother during an argument at his home in four path clarendon miguel grant is charged with assault at common law and possession of a prohibited weapon a court date is being arranged the police report that about two on sunday grant and his mother were having an argument when he brandished a handgun and pointed it in her direction and threatened to kill her his mother then ran out of the house and called the police upon arrival of the lawmen grant was arrested and placed in custody he was subsequently charged on tuesday so people what can go so your own mother seen and them say my 19 right so you know see i'm mother i close and shoes him and feed him and you pull a gun at your own mother me know say sometime all right you see when you're in your teenage years when you are transition into adulthood are mostly you that say in your teenage years yeah your mother i go bump head right or whoever are your guardian or your parents your mother and father right but there's nothing that a mother or a parent or a father can say to a child forget this type of reaction from that child pull a gun no this the mother will make sure say him not come back in her house and she not go visit him and a no jail or in a prison you understand because anything could happen they say you know friend him pull it he could have used it you know you understand and these parents some of the time them see them youth are going in the wrong direction you know and them not try nothing at all forget them on the straight and narrow because if you live in a house with your child you must have to see changes in that child you understand and them say bend the tree from it young and if you don't bend that tree from it young you know what I mean? The purse that that child might hurt is you. You see what I say? And me now I'm gonna say enough parents not try with them picnic and them still come out to become a criminal. Right? But leave your comment in the comment section, my people. We are gonna go over in a um Saint Catherine, you know. Right? So man beaten to death after allegedly shooting bar patron a man who is believed to have been wanted for several crimes was reportedly beaten to death by patrons at a bar after he allegedly shot another during an attempt robbery the incident occurred sometime after 9 pm on tuesday in Cockeridge, bella's gate saint catherine it is reported that the man approached the bar and pointed a gun at patrons eventually shooting at one of them which resulted in the other patrons attacking him using items from the ground in the vicinity of the bar during the incident the citizen reportedly managed to disarm the attacker he was severely beaten and his head crushed police said the alleged attacker was taken to hospital where he was pronounced you know what some people they look like them take up all a big stone and just drop in him crown you see me john star them deal with him wicked the other man who received gu and shot wounds was transported to the hospital by citizens where he was also pronounced the firearm was retrieved by the police the spanish town criminal investigation branch is now investigating despite the pending official identification of the would-be robber commanding officer for the saint catherine north um, division superintendent police Hopton nicholson said it is believed that he was a violence producer who has been on the police radar for some time and has been the subject of numerous operations we believe 
that he is a violence producer from the community of gold mine in clarendon he has been featured in at least three murders and two shootings in the past year most recently being september 7 when he engaged the saint catching police in a shootout after which he went to rock river clarendon and it is believed that he committed a murder there some hours after sp nicholson said some people if him are this a type of person yeah, that they are saying he is him deserve where him get you know what i mean not every story we quick for believe still you know that's why i say you know what i mean if everything with them i say about this person yeah, a true him deserve to get where him get you understand me i say so more want to not tell me what you think in the comment section my people and we are going to go over to our next article you know my people with them say three person got on alive in and over yes so me i say three murdered in green island designer and over my people the Anova police are getting help from the major investigation division as they probe three murders committed in green island on tuesday night a 61 year old man was killed in the first incident following by a man and a woman killed a short time later the murders took place in Arden Hall, a usually quiet community in Green Island Police Division, which has recently became a challenge for law enforcers. And people, when I get to realize, like in a Jamaica, the quiet community, them, them start broke out. I don't know if a man or a man go in the community and them go in there, go fit easy, fit chill. You know what I mean? Because enough of the time bad man at places, them go and quiet little community, go take with themselves from all the war go around them. And eventually, them turn that community in a violent community. And that's why I have to really watch the people them in a community. And I feel like say, everybody will go in our community to live. I feel like the police them to investigate them, find out who that person is and them thing there. You understand me, I say? So, I can read on my people. Unconfirmed reports are that all three were employed to a mega construction site in the parish. Currently, some intense investigation is underway. The major investigation division is giving us some support where this is concerned. But our teams are investigating and seeing that we can actually analyze and get on the ground. We are also asking the citizens of ANOVA to cooperate with us so as to help us solve these MURDERS, said Head of Police Area 1, Assistant Commissioner Glenford Miller. In the first incident, Labourer Melvin Runtings Davis was SHOT and unalive at his house in Arden Hall about 10.30 p.m. according to police. Davis was at home when he was attacked by armed men who opened GUN fire hitting him in the upper body. Approximately 25 minutes later, a woman and a man were KILL at their house. Their relationship was not disclosed the two have been identified as 45 year old and jay coley otherwise called bako an electrician of arden all green island and over and 43 year old stacy and williams otherwise called sandy a laborer of shettlewood in the eastern end of the parish a police report around 10 55 pm the two were at home when men armed with an guns open fire at them from the police perspective we cannot say no that both incidents are related but they actually happen in close proximity to time to each other and they actually happen in the same district said acp miller a disheartened member of parliament mp for anova western tamika davis said the incident has come at a time when the parish has seen a reduction in knockings and clappings we hope it is what it is and it is not the start of something in this usually 
peaceful and quiet community said the MP who is encouraging residents to remain calm I want to encourage citizens who would have seen or heard anything or know anything to help the police because that is the best way we can help whatever information you have shared do not determine on your own that it may not be helpful tell it to the police your pastor or an attorney you can come to my office and let us see if it goes anywhere encourage davis who is an attorney at law some people you see now for the see i'm blind here and deaf it costs a lot of people life still in the minute i'm gonna tell you no lie you know what i mean because if a person see something and don't say nothing to the officers them or you know what i mean call crime stop or make them know something this i go keep going on because these violence producers them i go say all right so everybody in the community afraid of me you know so me can't do anything me feel like for do and nobody now go tell the police them say me because they fear me so much and if from the first time this person analyzed somebody anybody at all did make the police them know and them do an investigation and find say okay all right so this person yeah, and take that person off of the street and go lock them away where them can't analyze nobody no more the problem would have solved you understand but a lot of these citizens facilitate this type of person until it end up on them doorstep you understand and at them the time they them who are the police them come do something about whoever so if we want to see a better jamaica my people we have to play a role we have to play a part I mean, I say, oh, no, if you just run, go tell police this and that, you know, because, you know, have some corrupt police out there where if you make them know something, no for the time, them and the person, them are link. So, them go back with their name, go tell that person. See, so, only you can give an anonymous tip, you know what I mean? They have a lot of tip lines. I think you have 311 where you can text or call and give an anonymous tip. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't want text car, you don't want your number show private, you don't want to call a police station and make them know whatever and see what them can do from that. I mean, I tell nobody if you go up front and go tell police this and that. You know what I mean? So, you don't make me know what you think in the coming. Because my people, the police say, uh, they don't know if these two knockings and clappings related. But me would have say common sense alone would i tell you say yo you know what i mean it's related these three person just so happened for work at the same place that a number one number two it happened minutes apart from each other number three it happened at the same community something you know something they saw you know what i mean so people will watch a lot me know so no for we watch a lot of detective movies and them something there right and we see the police them are do them investigation although a movie that you know what i mean i show that so i them write them script and them something there it not so easy for police you know but at least take something out of that man question some people when know these persons enough of them police here yeah, them just go up on the scene you know what i mean and do them whatever them for do and them left left it right there so we need detectives right we need people figure we need detectives to go talk to the person we're close to these people like the family member or whatever the people them will work alongside these people you know what i mean if you get some information you see me i say you can't just leave it up that way they just go up on the crime scene and ask two questions to a couple people where them see and left it right there so 
No nah, man, them for go in and investigate, Bridget. You see what I say? These Jamaican police do not do investigation. I mean, no, say some people now go on talk because them no want to be next, right? But them have to do them investigation. You understand? Tell the people them say, yo, you know, say you can call a number, yeah, and just give an anonymous tip, whatever, whatever. You see me, make the people them know say yo there are channel where them can go through without giving them name. You know what I mean? Them identification or them phone number. So people, right here something I got in it. But more want you guys to subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and like this video and click the tap bell icon here after you subscribe. So let me know what you guys think in the comment.